<laughs> when Curly stops flirting, we'll welcome you to Petalize! Woo! Oh my god, that's so cool. Alright, guys, so today we have the very beautiful, the very handsome, the very super funny Chewy Martinez! Hey! My name is Chewy Martinez, uh, born and raised in LA, East LA to be exact, and uh, been doing radio for a long time, and uh, been doing TV for a while now. I'm a producer, and I do a bunch of crazy stuff, and uh, yeah. How did you like first get into radio? Well, got into radio in Phoenix, Arizona. I was going to high school at the time, and uh, I was about 16, 17 years old, and a radio station came to my high school, and uh, I saw the DJ, his name was Super Snake. He was rocking the crowd, he was giving away t-shirts, he was like, yeah, yeah, he's just pumping us all up and driving us crazy. I said to myself, I was like, I could do that for the rest of my life and I'd be happy. So I applied to the radio station, the local radio station, mm -hmm. uh, if not every day, maybe other week, every other week until they hired me. What? Did you send in a paper awesome. application? No, yeah, yeah no, like, my, my, city, my city bus that I would take to high school passed by this radio station every day. Uh -huh. So I would get off, my friends would laugh at me, and I would get off the bus and go apply and then Hope, hope, and pray to God that they would hire me. And then one day, the marketing director came in and said, "You're Chewy Martinez." I'm like, "Yeah." He took me to the back. He said, "You see that stack of applications?" He goes, "Half of those are yours, bro." <laughs> like he gave me a stack of T-shirts, and he goes, "You, you start this weekend." <gasps> yeah. I was crying. I, I, yeah, yeah. I was on the bus crying. I was like, "Oh my God, oh my work God. at the radio station." Yeah. And How then old were you? it was 16, 17, wow. 16, about to be 17. And then I got home and I told my mom. She's like, "Porque está llorando?" I'm like, "Mom, I got hired at the radio station." She goes, okay, but do you have homework? I'm like, okay, <laughs> you don't get it right now, lady, but you're gonna get it. But now she gets it because I pay all her bills. Yeah, so man. I pay all her bills and she can call That's... me at three in the morning talk about I need a new laptop. Some people are very like that. Like you'll have like, a certain, you'll reach a certain amount of success in a way and then they're like, but how much money you got in the bank? Or like, right. what's gonna do, like what's gonna happen? Right. They kind of don't know how to, especially like if you're in the creative field, they really don't know how to appreciate it a lot right. of times. And then they kind of, they want to see it manifest itself in different ways, I think. I think mm -hmm. it finally clicked for my family, especially my mother, when I got the majority of her bills forwarded to my house. Uh -huh. wow. I did that, I, I did a lot of that behind her back. Mm. And she's like, mijo, none of these bills are coming in. I was like, cause I'm paying for them, mom. Oh, I love that. And really she's sweet. like crying on the phone. She's like, oh my God, mijo, you're there. It's like, <laughs> I was like, I got you now. That's like she, the dream, though, man. You just get help, better and help better. Your parents. Yeah, because she, she, she worked, she held me down. and. You know, she worked three jobs to support me. Was she a single mom? Was single you? mom. Single wow. Mom. She held it down, man. It's and something happened. Like when you're nine years old and you see your mom like at the kitchen table with a stack of bills, crying, not knowing what to do. I told myself when I was nine years old that in my adult life, she's never gonna have to go through that ever again. And then myself, I will never be in that situation as far as economically. I was gonna do better. Man, when you're nine years old and you see your mom going through that, you're like, yo, that right there, that's, that's never gonna and be And that's where reality. your determination and your that's ambition what, came from. Which I love, yeah. She that's where the well. fire came from. What's my suegra's name? Selena. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she might What's really, she might. I'll pay her bills too. Apparently, <laughs> she, she <laughs> love you, bro. I can. Oh, yeah. What you need? Water, electricity. Yeah. Our peoples, you know, we, we hustle a lot. And I think a lot of it is thanks to our our family and our parents, you oh, know, especially. Because a lot of them came from another country yeah. and they started from scratch. They didn't have all the money in the world. They, they basically the sacrificed language. everything right. for you. So you grow up young already having that mentality. Like, right. I gotta, that's it. I got to do something and, with my life. And you can't complain because my great grandparents were field workers and picked strawberries and picked all kinds of crap. And they would get up at three in the morning. My great grandmother would uh, raise four children all on her own, struggling, working hard, and I know all that, and you just have that, you have that in you. Yep. Yeah. And you have that work ethic instilled oh, in you. You know, because you always want to do better than, than you know, your yeah. parents. And, I think yeah. that's where the whole, like, Latin man comes in, like, that, that whole instinct. I love to provide. I love to take care. You know, I love to... I love to be the I love to be the, the financial anchor of the family. I don't know. That's just would, me. Would you feel uncomfortable if you had a partner that earned more than you? Like Absolutely a woman? not. Hell no, she's gonna take me to the mall. <laughs> take me to the mall. <laughs> take me to the swap meet. Yeah, you know, enjoy time like Take me to the mercadito. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Buy me some stuff. No, absolutely not. Yeah. I don't have to be like the whole I, the I breadwinner. I almost feel like the reverse sexist because I think I would feel uncomfortable if my if my dude earned more than me. Like I want to be the breadwinner. Yeah. Damn. I want to be. What's up? I want to be paying the bills. 
Oh. How, you, how you doing? I'm taking a medical. Like, Let's move them off. Curly, you want to be like a sugar girl? Curly, I know. Curly, I'm just slapping your foot off. Get that foot off of her. Curly turned red. Curly turned red. You just turned red, guys. It's play nice. It's play nice. Oh, I feel like I just turned red. There's a little bit of chewy for everybody. Did I turn red? I feel like warmer. Like significantly. I've been blessed with these massive platforms and they just like, I'm just creating lanes for myself and creating and trying to conquer this crazy fucking industry. It's time. It is our time for Latinos. It, it's been our time. Yeah. It's been our time. The rest of the world is just figuring it out. And we just have to let them know that we're here. We're not going nowhere. You're not deporting nobody. That's not going to happen. Or building we a contribute wall. too much economically as a people. So we gonna be here forever and ever, and we gonna run this motherfucker and keep running this motherfucker. So just know that, and my people, we, we'll fight. We'll fight. We are fighters. We are fighters, and we got that fire, and nobody's gonna. Just we here, Latino and proud. Amen. Hey. Amen. Got cute feet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I do. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs>